Well, I think what we're seeing uh, today, uh, even in CEE cities, uh, they are starting to struggle with the same things that cities all across the world are struggling for. How do they remain resilient and competitive in a very, very rapidly urbanizing and globalizing age? We don't know uh, if the priorities are changing. Uh, what kind of opportunities are there for cities and for investors to make themselves more competitive and also to create the greatest uh, benefits for the widest uh, groups of people? So these are some of the issues we're debating today. I think what we're starting to see right now is that there's an enormous tilt of the economic center worldwide towards the east. Uh, China will have 65% of the global middle class by 2050. Right now it's only 30%. So the populations are rebalancing demographically. Uh, we're getting older. There are four generations of workforce uh, in the marketplace now. This is very, very new. And, but it's really going to this heart of uh, internationalization, does the workforce in CEE cities represent uh, the greatest uh, growth of wealth generators uh, that it can compared to other cities? I think this is potentially something that CEE cities have to work for, a younger, uh, perhaps more e Eastern-oriented workforce.